What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back once again, and we are going to be finally reviewing the second episode of The Mandalorian. Uh, if you guys have not seen episode one, I do recommend you go watch it in episode two. Also, if you guys don't want to be spoiled. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into the episode two review. First off, let me say once again, I cannot get enough of this show. It's just, it's just amazing every time I watch it. Uh, but we do leave off right where I left off with episode one, right when the Mando is uh, taking the child to uh his ship and during the way he uh is using his uh one of his devices so that way the pod can follow him with the child in it and he gets attacked by i guess some uh outlaws and then he quickly disposes of them and he does get hurt in the process and then it goes to the night and he's trying to heal himself by using one of his uh, med kits. And then you do see where the, I'm just going to call it the baby Yoda. Cause, cause again, we don't know the, the name of his species. We don't know the type of species he is, but the baby Yoda keeps wanting to come out and try to touch him. He puts him back in the pod, comes out, does it again. And then he finally closes the pod. And he's getting closer to his ship, and he finally gets to his ship, but there's a big problem. There's a bunch of Jawas uh, stripping his ship, which was really messed up. I was like, oh, man, really? And uh, he shoots, I want to say, maybe four or five of them. They retreat into their, uh, their, their, their vehicle, and he goes after them, and the pod is following him. And he starts trying to climb uh what the Jawas are in and as soon as that happens they're like throwing stuff at him for like metal they're throwing everything they can using tasers on him everything to get him off of the uh off the side and he finally is about ready to go up on the side after going through some hurdles and he finally gets up on top he grabs his blaster and they all just there's like i want to say maybe 10 of them and they all use a, a shock blaster and next thing you know it just tases them he falls off and he passes out then he uh grabs himself and he wakes up he sees a child there and he goes to the one character that helped him out in the very first episode, and he says, I'm surprised you lived, and he says, I'm guessing that that was all the trouble, and he tells them some Jawas stripped, uh, destroyed his ship, he says, they didn't mess it up, he says, they just stripped it for parts, and he says, well, even then, he says, I got no way to get back, and so he said he'd help him, so he gets uh, a, a huge hover, and of course, the uh, animal he had the Mando use in the very first episode, and he says, we're going to go try to trade with Jawas. He says, try to trade with Jawas, are you insane? And so they finally get there, and he says greetings to them in their language, and he starts hearing them talk. He says, yeah, they don't like you very much. He says, well, I did disintegrate some of them. And then he tells them, he says, you need to put down your rifle. He says, how can I do that? He says, my rifle's a part of me. And he says, well, either that or you won't get your parts. So he puts down the rifle. He gets off. He says, your blaster, too. And he just looks like, really? And he puts the blaster there. He sits down with him, and the Jawas start talking to him, trying to tell him, okay, well, we'll trade for the Mando armor. He's saying no, because it's part of who he is. Then they, they're trying to get the baby Yoda. He says, no, get away from that. And then what was so funny is he starts saying, like, why should I trade you when you took away my parts? And he starts trying to talk to them in Jawa, and they make fun of him. He says, and they're like, like, you speak terrible Jawa. You sound like a Wookiee. <laughs> and that was probably one of the best things in there. I mean, I'm not a fan of Jawas, but that part was actually pretty funny, uh, because he He's like, yeah, you sound like a Wookiee. And then he says, okay, you understand this? He uses his flamethrower because he got pissed. And I'm like, well, you know, can't blame him because you get your ship that you worked so hard for. You get your weapon stolen. You get your parts stolen. And then you're pretty much left with a big old chunk of metal. And that does not work. And you have no parts to make it work. And they, he's in the, uh, the stranger tells him, he says, okay, well, there's got to be something that we can trade you with. And they're saying the egg, the egg, the egg. And, uh, he goes to this cave, gets everything ready, and he tells the, uh, he, he kind of goes in there, and then he comes right out again after shooting it with his blaster and everything to where he goes across against this monster, and he uses, he uses almost everything, he can't try to use his rifle, his rifle goes the other way, then he tries to use his flamethrower, he tries to use his, uh, 
uh, his, his steel gauntlet. Nothing's working, and this was a big throwback through uh, episode two with Geonosis with uh, Jango Fett uh, in the arena. Then also when he was uh, fighting Obi Wan. So there's a few things in there that they did put from episode two. If you guys just looked at like, oh, okay, yeah, they got this idea from possibly episode two, um, but. What was really interesting was he uses everything. This creature's still not doing anything. He just gets a knife out, and and the uh the baby Yoda is just watching him, and just observing. And every time when the creature tries to go after the baby Yoda, he uses the uh his gauntlet on his uh, arm to push the pod away. And then finally, right when uh the creature is about ready to go on the attack, he finally just like kneels down gets a knife because he thinks he's gonna die because the creature everything he's done so far is not gonna work so he's just holding his knife in a kneeling stance like you know I'm, I'm ready to accept it you know and then as soon as that happens the baby yoda which could come to no shock to nobody it, it didn't really to me i was just like why did i have a feeling because just by the beginning of this episode i was thinking okay why do i got a feeling he, he's able to use the force well he's able to use the force he's very force sensitive He's able to lift this creature, I want to say almost about five feet up in the air. I want to say maybe mm, about maybe three, four feet, maybe. I, 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 I want to say close to five feet. But he finally does that, and Amanda's just like, uh, what am I seeing? And then finally, the baby passes out, and then he's able to stab the creature. And he's just looking like, what the hell did I just witness? Because apparently... He's never seen someone use the force. He's not sure what what it was. He doesn't understand, and he just get brings the egg back to the Jawas, and the Jawas are about ready to leave. The stranger says that uh, here it comes, and he gives them the egg. They cut the egg open, and it looks like it was some type of whatever uh, organs or some type of juice before the egg could fully grow into another one of those creatures. Uh, they start eating it, and then. He just says, he says, well, I'm surprised you're still here. And then the guy goes, is, well, I'm surprised it took you this long. So finally, they do get all the parts. And he tries to tell him what happened. Is the baby still asleep? He says yes. And he informs him that uh, he's not sure what happened. He says, well, tell me again. He says, I'm not sure what happened either. And so right when they get all the parts, he tells him, he says, I don't know how I'm going to do this due to there's a lot of parts. This is going to take weeks, and he's without a proper uh, uh, facility to fix all the parts. He says, it will take that long. He says, if you don't help me. So, once again, the stranger does offer him a lot of help, and I want to say maybe it took him maybe almost a week to uh, take care of this, and he finally tells him that, uh, thank you, you know, he says, let me share some reward. Uh, he says no, and then he says, well, let me offer you to be part of my crew. He says, I can, I can, you know, reward you handsomely. And he says, no, he says, I worked very hard to be free. He says, I do not want to do that. And he says, well, then all I can offer is my thanks, which was really crazy because this, this one character, he went above and beyond for uh, the Mando, and he's done a lot for him. And he says, all I can do is say thank you for freeing my land. And as soon as that happens, he says, may the child bring you a lot of reward. So that finally happens, and they're about, he's about ready to leave. He waves to him, and then the Mando goes into space with his ship that is fully recovered and new. And then he's looking at the baby in the cockpit, and then he just looks at to the stars, and the baby slowly wakes up, and then now is the end. So that is the end to the second episode of The Mandalorian. Now this whole episode... Was it full of action? No. Um, I think the reason why is because we were trying to get more development within the show to see where it was going to go, what's happening. And and see, that's always a good thing for shows. And I'm really wishing that there was maybe just a tiny bit more action. Now, the best part was when he was trying to get stuff back from the Jawas. I think that was um, pretty funny. But other than that, it was, it was a great episode. Uh, the, se- the third episode... I want to say it will come in later November. I, I want to say, uh, I gotta I gotta relook at this guys because I want to say that when because because I know they're they're still updating Disney Disney app uh, like crazy. So the third episode will be on the twenty second. So 
It's going to be next Friday. But, guys, please let me know what you thought about uh, The Mandalorian Episode 2. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you guys did, please like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. hope you guys are enjoying your day. Let me know what you thought about The Mandalorian in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying Disney Plus app as well. And I'll be seeing you guys on the very next video. See you later.